the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The And peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the fourth Sunday of Lent. Today's Sunday is also known as Latari Sunday, which means joy. My dear brothers and sisters, let us come to mind our sins and asking God to forgive our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call all sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who through your word reconciled human race to yourself in a wonderful way, grant we pray that with prompt devotion and eager faith, the Christian people have hastened towards the solemn celebration to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Chronicles. In those days, all the princes of Judah, the priest and the people, added infidelity to infidelity, practicing all the abominations of the nation and polluting the Lord's temple, which he had consecrated in Jerusalem. Early and often did the Lord, the God of their fathers, send his messengers to them for he had compassion on his people and his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of God, despised his warnings, and scoffed at the prophets until the anger of the Lord against his people was so inflamed that there was no remedy. Their enemies burnt the house of God, tore down the walls of Jerusalem, set all its palaces afire, and destroyed all its precious objects. Those who escaped the sword were carried captive to Babylon, where they became servants of the king of the Chaldeans and his sons, until the kingdom of Persia came to power. All this was to fulfill the word the Lord had spoken to Jeremiah until the land has retrieved its lost Sabbaths. During all the time it lies waste, it shall have rest while 70 years are fulfilled. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah, the Lord inspired King Cyrus of Persia to issue this proclamation throughout his kingdom both by word of mouth and in writing. Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, all the kingdoms of the earth, the Lord, the God of heaven, has given to me, and he has also charged me to build a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah. 
Whoever therefore among you belongs to any part of his people, let him go up, and may his God be with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. By the streams of Babylon, we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, God, who is rich in mercy because of the great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace, you have been saved, raised us up with him, and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved through faith, And this is not from you. It is the gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For if we are his handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for the good works that God has prepared in advance, that we should live in them. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. To God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has 
already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. After this, the verdict that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who did, who does wicked things hates the light and does not come towards the light so that his his works might be exposed might not be exposed but whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God the gospel of the Lord praise to you Lord Jesus Christ In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today's Sunday is Latari Sunday, which means joyce. Joycing that we are getting closer and closer to the end of Lent season, and getting closer to closer to the new season of Easter. Today's Gospel, as we heard, that we should follow wisdom. What does wisdom mean to everyone? Wisdom means to be wise and have good judgment. We know in the gospel that Jesus wants us to be wise and have good judgment in life. And also follow what your journey must go to. Our journey is to become saints and disciples and follow Jesus. Remember that Jesus is a true light for us to follow. So, it makes us to become closer to God. During this Lent season, we always need to be reflecting upon ourselves. Reflecting about what can you do better? What can you do to make God love you more? How can you prove to God? How can you be a better person? As Lent is approaching to an end, we always need to go to confession. Because, because confession is when we can get rid of sins. We can get the evil spirits out of your, your system. That's what this gospel means. This gospel means that we should not be in the dark. Always choose the light. No matter what happens, we, can't, we cannot let anything, anything dark like demons, any... Evil spirits control us, what we should can do. Just from the Friday um, gospel, we should always follow the Ten Commandments. We should always follow what the law that God wrote for us. We should not kill. You should not commit adultery. You should love your neighbors. So as Lent is approaching to the end, we should always keep praying to God. We should always pray to God that as we gain closer, we should love Him more. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who has conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was cru crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into hell the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As the solemnity of Easter approaches, dear friends, let us pray to the Lord be all the insistent that all of us 
and of the whole multitude of the baptized together with the entire world may come to share more abundantly in the sacred mysteries. That God may be pleased to increase faith and understanding in the catechumens who are intent to buy holy baptism in the coming fascal solem solem solemnity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> that people in need may find help and that peace and security may be firm, firmly established everywhere. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are afflicted or suffering temptation may, may be strengthened by his grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our <laughs> prayer. That all of us may learn to distribute the fruits of self-denial for the good of those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Have mercy, O Lord, on the prayers of your church, and turn with compassion to the heart that bowed before you, that those you make sharers in the divine mysteries may never be left without your assistance. Through Christ our Lord. What wondrous love is this, O my soul, O my soul, what wondrous love is of all creation, and through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, spread of the earth and that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands, a praise and glory name for our good and of all's holy church. We place before you with the joy these offerings, which brings eternal remedy, O Lord, praying that we may both faithfully revere them and present them to you as is fitting for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just in our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred pastoral feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which we have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the, the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest.
indeed, Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting them your spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new eternal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francois, Francois our Apostolic Administrator, the Nilis Assistants, and all the cler clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, that with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forget those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on your faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance <laughs> with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof, but only say my word, and my soul shall be healed. Hear us, Almighty Lord, show us your mercy. Sinners, we stand here before you. Jesus, our Savior, Lord of all the nations, Christ our Redeemer, hear the prayers we offer. Spare us and save us, comfort us in sorrow. Let us pray. O oh God, who enlighten everyone who comes in this, into this world, illuminate our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your grace, that we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty, and love you in all sincerity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your, bow your heads for the blessing. Look upon those who call to you, O Lord, and sustain the weak, give life by your unfailing light. To those who walk in the shadow of death, and bring those rescued by faith from every evil, to reach the highest good, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass has ended. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.